if you are as hyped for the imminent Oculus Quest release as I am, then you are likely waiting to see if your favorite VR game has been ported to the Quest and what other cool new games are going to be released for this standalone headset. The good news is that there is no shortage of awesome games that have already been confirmed for Quest and more are announced almost every other day. To keep up to date with all the VR news including headset releases and new games, please click on the subscribe button down below and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I already made one list of top games that I'm looking forward to but it's so hard to keep it at just 10 so here's 10 more awesome must play games for Oculus Quest. Welcome to the Vacation Simulator, human! And we begin with my current favorite VR game, the Vacation Simulator. Actually, the Sentry is two for one kind of a deal. Both games, Vacation Simulator and Job Simulator, will be coming to Oculus Quest. Job Simulator should be available at launch or shortly thereafter, while Vacation Simulator is targeted for the holiday season of this year. Personally, I haven't tried Job Simulator yet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of comedic situations I can get into while working as a gourmet chef or an auto mechanic in this job museum. Then it'll be fun to hop into Vacation Simulator and explore the beach, the forest or the mountain all over again. Both of these games are fun for the whole family. The cross-buy option has not been confirmed yet for either of these titles. And that is how you vacation. Fantastic. I feel the energy of this work. It truly represents Wanderlust. You ain't got enough of this fever, I know, I know. Being the most popular social VR app out there, it's no surprise that VR Chat wants to maintain that crown and offer people the ability to play this game in VR almost anywhere and without any wires attached. This undisputed VR meme machine is going to be a fine addition to Oculus Quest lineup. I'm curious to see how well the developers will be able to optimize VR chat to be able to run on a mobile chip. This game is known to be quite a resource hog, so the developers have their work cut out for them. VR chat is free to play, and it's unknown at the time of making of this video when it will be available for download on Oculus Quest. Speaking of VR MMO games, the original MMORPG built from ground up with room scale VR in mind will be coming to Quest. Orbus VR Reborn, which just launched as a full game, offers a big open world environment with hundreds of hours of quests, group raids and everything else that a typical fantasy MMO would offer. What it lacks in graphics, it more than makes up for in a strong player community. Orbus VR's low poly graphics actually make it a perfect game to port to Quest. The exact launch date has not been confirmed at this time, but when it comes to cross buy, if you already own the game in Oculus Store, you will be able to play it on Oculus Quest. Moving on to the more creative side of VR, Google Tiltbrush is a confirmed Oculus Quest title that will likely be available at launch date of the headset. This is the only creative drawing and sculpting app that has been confirmed for the Quest so far, and it will be offering almost all the functionality of the PC version, with just a few trade-offs focusing on performance improvements for the Quest's chipset. Having Tiltbrush on Quest will bring total wireless freedom to the creative process of VR artists. I can't wait to see all the cool art that will be created. I've been asked about this game multiple times and if you're wondering if the climb is coming to the quest then you're in luck. The Climb will be a launch title as soon as the headset is released for sale. Crytek confirmed that Quest version of the Climb will be the same as the PC version we all know and love, with all the levels, endless procedurally generated climbing wall and multiplayer mode to compete with other players. 
it will be very cool to be able to scale sheer cliff faces and enjoy beautiful vistas inspired by real world locations without any headset tethers. Just watch out and don't fall flat on your headset. Continuing on with the sport theme, there are quite a few tennis titles that are coming to Quest, but the one that caught my eye is Racket and X. It's a rather unique game that's described by the developer Juan Hamza as racquetball meets breakout in a giant pinball machine. The game is played inside a giant glass dome, the walls of which light up with targets that you must destroy with the ball. As the ball slams into the wall, it will roll across it, bulldozing everything in its path, whether it's energy boosters, energy downers or other power-ups. Quick, precise action is key. Just like every VR sport game, having no wires will make action that much more immersive in Racket and X. The teaser for Racket and X coming to the quest is quite cool as well. It really shows off the potential of literally playing VR anywhere. Switching the VR workout to dance mode, one of my personal favorites in the genre, Rave Runner will be releasing for Quest along with every other headset on the market. In fact, just as I'm making this video, the developers have announced that Rave Runner will now be called the Audio Trip. And as a side note, it will be released to some arcades as soon as next week. Audio Trip is a fitness focused rhythm game that incorporates dancing. This game was designed to make the player move as much as possible and as such will be best played on a wireless system like Oculus Quest. I had a chance to try out this game and love the tracks and the dance moves. It will definitely get you sweating. Keeping up with the dancing theme, a familiar title from an industry heavyweight Harmonix will be added to the Oculus Quest library. That's Dance Central VR. In this game, you mimic the dance moves of a character in front of you to the beat of popular dance songs. Your hand and head movements are tracked and scored. Unlike its Xbox predecessor, Dance Central VR will have a multiplayer options for those dance battles. This game will be an Oculus Store exclusive, but it will support cross-buy and cross-play with the Rift's headsets. It's also confirmed to be one of the launch day titles for Oculus Quest. Your time has come at last, dear reader. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. Everyone's favorite mouse protagonist will embark on her epic journey in Moss once again, and this time on Oculus Quest. This action-adventure title has too many awards to count and is revered for its compelling characters, gripping combat, and captivating world exploration. Highly rated by both critics and players alike, it's good to see this title being ported to the Quest, showing potential first-time VR users how great VR games can be. Moss will be a launch day title, but so far there's no confirmation whether cross-buy option will be supported by the developer. Your bond with Quill grows strong, and the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Another launch day title that I'm quite curious about is Journey of the Gods by Turtle Rock Studios. This action-adventure RPG appears to be inspired by the visuals of Legends of Zelda and will combine combat with environmental puzzles. 
This will be a new title for both Rift and Quest and it will support cross-buy option. Turtle Rock Studios has already made a hit VR game Face Your Fears and I'm curious to see what experience they crafted into the Journey of the Gods. With Oculus Quest release almost upon us, what's the game that you're most looking forward to? With so many titles already confirmed, it's tough to choose and we're just scratching the surface. Personally, I'm really curious what game or games will be bundled with the headset itself. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you like this list of games and I look forward to reading your comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the Oculus Quest and other VR gaming news. I'm Reload and I'll see you in my next one.